All right. And the plant and the plant. Wait a minute. Hold that up and then talk. I'm gonna take a picture. It came with um, the gnomes and the plaids and the grays and the blues. It is. Okay, so is this one gray or is it blue? It's both. It's oh, both. Okay. All right, let me go ask her. Okay. Right there. Yes. He says to check with these Aurora because they have none here. Okay. All of their gnome fabric is pretty much gone here. Okay. But it would be that some of it got moved over there to give these Aurora. Yeah. Okay. I have to go there anyways tomorrow, so. Yeah. Um, and what is your favorite Bernina foot to stitch in the ditch? Um, oh, I just... <laughs> I just use my quarter inch foot and just watch where the needle goes. That's where I'm, the 97D I'm using. Is yep, that okay? That's, that's what I use. Okay. It works. I mean, you yeah. can, for the feet, you can use your 20D if you wanted, but right. I use my 97D because it works fine. I just okay. have to watch where the needle goes. Mm -hmm. And it's nice if you stitch in the ditch on this, when you flip it over on the other side, you've got a nice pattern on the other side. And what length of a stitch do you use? I use 3.0. 3.0, okay. Yep. yep. It works.
Oh, nice you got a chance to make yourself a runner. So are you all having leftovers tonight? Yep. Oh, yeah. We just, uh, we did a turkey breast, so we've got enough for the night, but I bought two turkey breasts and the other one I'm going to do another time. My son deep fried his turkey and I took another leg because I'm the only one that likes turkey legs, so that's what I'm going to be eating. Oh, good. And my left, I made stuffing because everyone likes my stuffing. How did and they um, like their turkey fried like that? It was good. Um, it's in a big pot and you have to be careful. I understand though that some people have had fires. Yeah, because if that turkey isn't totally dry, it can, it can flame up the oils. Ooh. Yeah. And you have to do it away from the house. And away from, you know, so. Out in the backyard, huh? Yeah, that's where he did it. And it was, it's the first time he's done it. It was really good. And then it was just us and uh, Jen's parents and my granddaughter. And her mom made just a turkey breast. So we had some, some turkey left over and lots of stuffing, so. Yeah. And I took made, the easy way out. She made a really good cheesecake, pumpkin cheesecake. Really? And she gave me like three slices of that. I said, I don't need all this stuff. But guess what I had for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> I know. I brought a piece of apple pie for lunch today. <laughs> uh -huh. I made a really good um, pecan short pecan pie shortbread kind oh. of recipe it's a shortbread almond crust on the bottom and like a pecan praline on top oh but it's good it was quite the and not as sweet as pecan there, pie there's no calories in that is there well it it was a lower carb version <laughs> okay because it's all nuts. Oh, Whereas my sister was going crazy looking for my mom's pecan pie recipe. She realized it's written on the back of the caro syrup. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we all knew that. the nice things for us was that my husband usually has to work on Thanksgiving Day. And he didn't have to work this year because the store was closed. So it was a very relaxing day. all morning saying I'm supposed to be upstairs sewing.
The only problem with Thanksgiving is it's relaxing for the men. But we women, we keep working. And it's a different kind of work because I enjoy cooking on Thanksgiving. Not too shabby. Oh, look at that. Did they line up pretty well? What do you think? I think they look pretty good there, girlfriend. <laughs> Very wow. Now, anytime you do a quilt where you've got a line sashing up like that, that's what you do. Just mark it so that when you put it together, you're sure you're going to line it up. Mm, at the bottom, it's not. At the top, it was really good. Well, you can just rip it out a little bit on either side and then fuss with it and, and repin it and restitch it. I've been known to do that. Well, I'm going to press it first and see what it looks like. All right. Press, press up. Okay, Olivia. Yeah, I think it's more my chalk lines that were giving me an optical problem. Okay, what do you think? I think it's it's good. I'm gonna go with it. All right. I'm gonna go with it. 
Okay. All right. So now I need my batting and to sandwich it. And I'm going to use this one as my backing because I have so much of it. Oh, that'll make it look really nice. I like that fabric. Yeah, the, you know, every once in a while, Jean and I do a, do a swap of fabrics. And um, was this one? was gifted to her by someone. She had so much of it. She was like... <laughs> Oh, she's sharing. That's nice. Oh, she's sharing. And I've had it in my stash. I'm like, I have to make something with that. I love the purple fall color. Yeah, purple, purple is interesting, though, because there are so many different shades of purple. It's hard to... Match them up, I've discovered. Okay, ladies, what do you think? Ta-da! That's beautiful. That's so bright and cheery. Very nice. And you know, they look blue, but those are all per shades of purple. They are? Wow. Wow. Anyway, beautiful. that's what one looks like without, without fashion. Yeah, it came out kind of cute. It's a little thinner and a little shorter because it doesn't have sashing. It's probably about three and a half inches shorter and about an inch narrower. But that's okay by me. One more Christmas present is done. Mary, when you put on your bindings, do you use the 10D foot? 10D. 10D. I don't know how to use it. Oh, it's so easy. This is the 10D. This is what it looks like. Yeah, but what? It, where does that ledge go? Uh, well, let me show you. <laughs> you are about to learn something new. Good. When I do my... But batting or my binding, let's see, I've got to figure out how to fix this so you can see it. You see that there? No, wait a minute. Mm -mm. I can see that. All right, so when I am sewing it, that little ledge, that little piece right there, okay? Yeah. Just put it against the binding and so on the edge of the binding well i always sew my binding on the front right over the back but okay i when i stitch it on because i have my wonder clips on it right so i stitch it and that goes right along there it just so, so that kind of goes in the ditch yep and the needle stitches in the ditch do you have to move the needle at all or no? No, you do not. Nope. All right, I'm going to try I that next. I think you'll find it's very easy. I don't think I've ever used this foot because I didn't oh know what God. to do. It <laughs> makes putting binding on fun. Okay. So you sew your binding onto the front, pull it to the back? Yes, I do. I, and I, then sew it with your machine on the back? I sew it on the front, I put it to the back. 
I use wonder clips. I go around and clip it all on, even on my corners, and then um, I, I flip it over and I sew in the ditch. And it goes right through on the back. And that way, if on the back it's not perfect, in other mm -hmm. words, it doesn't lay perfect, it doesn't matter if nobody's going to see it, but the front looks great. Yeah. Okay. I haven't got time to hand sew bindings, I'll tell you. And I like I like to put them on with a machine so that I can toss it in the washer and dryer and I know it's not going to come apart. Mm -hmm. And with that foot, it stitches in the ditch so nicely that you hardly see the stitching. I definitely will give it a try when I'm ready for it. Good. Now, does anybody have any questions? Do you use two and a half inches for your binding? Yes, I do. Me too. Okay. I find if I cut it too much um, narrower that it is asking an awful lot. This is done. Okay. And sometimes then it doesn't done. catch on the back. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do it that narrow, then that's assuming I think you're gonna sew it on by hand. Uh, and I don't want to sew my own. No. I just don't. finally finished that crazy Christmas tree one. For um, it's over seven foot long. It came out all right. You did it at edge, edge though, right? I did edge to edge the stars. It works so much better than oh, trying yeah. to do free motion. I just am not a free motion person. I am too tense to do that. So thank goodness you've got the option of edge to edge, you know? Yeah, I found the star one and it looks, and the girl that I made it for, her daughter is just like, she got it, gave it to her early. Yeah. She's just so in love with it. And it matches the colors in her kitchen and stuff because it was all those crazy colors too. Yep. And um, now she's saying, you know, well, so and so might want. I said, I'm not doing them. I'm not making another seven foot runner. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm not going to double the runner no more. That was that caused me a lot of stress. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I I don't know if I would want to make one that was really long. <laughs> no, no. It was tough. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Denise, are you okay? I am, yes. All right, okay. you know you, what you're doing? Yes, if not, I, I'll ask questions. When I'll call the shop or I can always rely on Mary. Yeah, call me. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen's good at texting Eileen, too. She'll get back to you, too. Yeah, you can text me. I can give you my number if you need it. Uh, yes, please. Hold on. Let me get my text. He's good at getting back to you. Hey. Most of the time, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm trying to think if I signed up for any more of your classes for this month coming up i think i just did the christmas thing and or the make it and take thing we're doing um, that last week in december when um let's see the last week in december oh i'm i'm offering that i spy quilt i don't know as i want to do something i don't know i don't know i'm just trying to help people fill their time if they're not doing anything with family the hours are going to feel long I have a log cabin ruler that has not been out of the package yet. Well, we're going to do a log cabin, <laughs> a little log cabin one if you want to do something. I with think that. Denise said she was going to do that one, right, Denise? Yep, I'm going to do that oh, one. Oh, good. Yay. When is yep. that one, Eileen? It's at the end of the month. Wait a minute. Let me look at the calendar. Yeah. I'm working out almost every Monday except for this Monday, so... I don't know if I can do it. Right. See, this is, um, we're talking December now. Mm -hmm. um, oh dear, where is it? It's the last week. It's the last week in the month, but I don't remember. I don't have it here. I must not have put it in yet. Okay. I'll look it up. But I'm sure that it's in there because they added it. Yeah. 
Okay, your number? Okay, my number, 716-870-0583. Okay, 0583, I got it. If you need to get me, then just identify who you are and what we're talking about. I will, definitely. A lot of classes. <laughs> I will. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I enjoy the class. Enjoy your runner. Audrey, are you all set? I am. I'm just sandwiching it, and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to quilt it. Well, did you see what I did? Yeah, just in the ditch. Did you see, though, that if you stitch in the ditch with this, just so you know, I'll, I'll just show you this again. If you start... If you start in one corner, you can stitch in the ditch around the square and then go out and do the next square and then re retrace your steps there and then do this square and then retrace a bit and then do this square. Then you're doing it all at one time. You don't have to keep lifting your needle up. That's just a thought. And it does make it pop nice. Otherwise, I don't know how I would, I would do it because in in this in these, um, it's kind of nice to let the fabrics shine and not make a lot of quilting on top of them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was trying to think if there was something I could put in the mid, um, in the middle of the solid square. Well, and and then you could, you could start doing um, like you could stitch a square around and then just keep going and do the, you know, do the other squares. I'm just yeah, thinking about making time. it continuous so it makes it easier yeah, for me. Or you could do a circle or you could do a heart. Mm. Or you could go from one corner to the other and make a big X. <laughs> Whatever turns you on, Audrey. I haven't quite figured it out yet. <laughs> so you'll have to. I, I always say go go sleep on it, and then maybe you'll wake up in the morning and have the answer. So, but when you do that, starting, you start in one corner, right? Corner to corner. When I start in one corner, and then I just go around the square, and then I go out onto the next square, and I do that one. But this time when I come here, I'm going to have to stitch back over my stitching carefully. Right. And then I'm going to do this square. And the same thing, I'm going to stitch over that stitching carefully and come out and do this one. Well, it'll be good stitch in the ditch practice because I'm really bad at that. <laughs> well, just go really slow. Don't try and hurry. Yeah. That's the secret to stitch in the ditch. It's not. But then you don't. All right, I have sashing though. So the well, in sashing, I I also stitched my grid. You know, I did I did this. In other words, I on here I did this, and on on my sashing though, I did nothing. I just did the squares in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, no, I guess I did go out and do around the outside too. Oh, okay. Yeah, for the sashing. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. All right. All right. Thank you, Eileen. I always so much people with something to think about. So. Yep. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. Bye, Mary. Bye, Denise. Happy travels. Bye, Bye everybody. Yeah, happy travels. Stay safe. Hey, stay healthy. Yeah. We'll see you. Take ya. care, everyone. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. <laughs>